I remember when in nine, uh, early 90s there was a discussion about the management, uh, about the economy of Russia, and I heard some voices, very interesting voices. People were saying, hey, uh, we are on the brink of the new generation of managers coming. There will be a completely of a new breed, uh, well-educated, uh, Western-minded, sort of free world guys. They'll come and change the whole world, and uh, we will see a different Russia. And we were actually watching this phenomena uh, along with yourself, and I was the one who was in the middle of this uh, uh, swamp, as Dr. Hadzidis says. I was in the middle of this. I was watching. Uh, a lot of new managers arrived. A lot of well-educated, Western-minded, the people who, who uh, educated from Stanford, from Harvard, from business schools around the world, they came back. Sometimes they were, uh, they went through the Baker, McKinsey's, and Ernst and Youngs of this world. Uh, they served their five, six, ten years in London, in, in New York. Then they came back to Russia. They started making business in Russia. And what happened? It didn't take long since they discovered that the Russian corporate model as such is very much different from what they learned in the universities and business schools around the world. That to succeed here you need to know right people rather than know right solution and make right decision. So business is owned by the state. Fine. Uh, then ostensibly free markets, do they exist? Like the energy free market, does it exist after all the reforms, can inverted commas? No, it doesn't exist. It's still a monopoly. Uh, did they really influence Russian uh, miracle, if, you say, if, if I'm allowed to say it, Russian miracle? Was, was it a miracle? Did they really influence it in the, in the teens after the millennium started? Uh, I don't think so. They were a the part of it, of course, and they earned their own fortunes, of course. They made uh, very, uh, very steep careers in their respective com companies, they, but they did not influence the transformation. Well, in fact, the transformation did not happen. It's still very much hydrocarbon-oriented country. We have a history. And our recent history shows that Russian business landscape is still extremely hostile. It's uh, very risky, and therefore the aggressive style of uh, tough negotiators. In Russian, they're called kruti uh, peregovorshiki. Well, tough negotiators are the people who are very much rewarded and very much appreciated by every manager, by any oligarch. He will like to have these guys. Uh, and the tougher you are, the more you get, by the way. And the respect to people, engagement, inclusiveness, blah, blah, these definitions are not commonly known. I can recall Oleg Deripaska again, uh, uh, saying a few years ago, and this was published, by the way, in, in Vedomosti, so uh, he would not sue me for this, hopefully. Uh, that, that was his words. He said, well, if I start talking about innovation and modernization, uh, well, my translations, uh, versus regular operational business issues, okay? Uh, he said, my people would think I'm nuts. These were his words. He didn't invent it. That, that this is not the kind of environment that supports change and supports implementation of new business strategies. Well, I, I'm not here to talk about the global warming kind of things. And they are still fundamental things that the civil service in Russia relies on, not necessarily effectiveness and efficiency. There's more about protection, protection of your own domain and the ability to, to benefit from, the, from your existence. Well, should business education address this Russian specific features of business management? That was my latter thought. Uh, I think yes and no. Yes, we should not improve the weakness. Let's not teach our business students in Russian schools how to overcome specific implementation uh, hurdles that they can face uh, in this country. Let's not teach them that. They will learn it if they wish, but let's not do it. It's really improving weaknesses, one wise man said. And what I have to say, it was Michael Dell, my current boss, by the way. He said, don't ever improve your weakness. And I agree with him, to be honest. Because in historical perspective, uh, the weaknesses these are, the Russian peculiarities, they're all weaknesses. But I'm optimistic in some 
Maybe 200 years from now, Russian management model will become truly global and will give birth to a really new economic miracle in this country. Thank you.